To speak more on this now, we are joined by Abdul Yakubu. Abdullah Yakubu, he's General Secretary of the Judicial Service Staff Association of Ghana. Mr. Yakubu, you're welcome to Eyewitness News. Thank you, Maru Sender. Last week when we spoke, you were so emphatic, you were so heartless, and you did not care about anything but your money. Tonight, you've already backed down. This is just less than 48 hours of official working period that you have called this strike. Why are you doing the U10 so suddenly? Omar Rosanda, thank you very much. Thanks to our president, Mr. Samuela Oteotu, and the staff of the Judicial Service. We have not called off our strike. We still maintain our position. However, we have shifted a bit from the position to our interest. Our interest is in the money. And when the time comes and the solutions to buy that, we shift from our position towards the interest that we have with the money. It is only good that we shift away from the position to the interest. So there's an assurance, a firm one that has been given you? Okay, as indicated in the release by our president, we held a meeting with the, at the instance of the Minister of Labor and Employment Relations at uh, their office in the attendance of the meeting was a rep from the office of the president, attorney general, and fair witness and salary commission. And the meeting was a step towards uh, addressing our concerns. We noted that as a per the labor law, when you are on strike, nobody will engage you to negotiate with you unless the strike is called off. This was the position of government. So we needed to strike a balance between providing some kind of truth or an avenue for the negotiation to take place while still maintaining our strike. Upon deliberations with the government, we resolved that we will rather suspend the strike for two weeks to pave way for government to engage us officially for the negotiations to start. Within that two weeks period, we are expected to conclude the negotiations with government, get the necessary approvals, and process it with the control accountant general to assure us that payments are going to be done in the month of June. Your... We had this... Okay, go ahead. We had this commitment from the government side, and the, the, we signed an MOU. It was signed for government by the mini, Honorable Minister for Labor and Informal Relations and witnessed by the legal counsel from the office of the president, and then also signed by our president. Okay, now the issue at hand as of the time you called the strike was that your salary had not been reviewed for more than two years, which offends the law, and you wanted that done, done, and you said it was only the president of the republic who had the power to do so. Since you called that strike on Thursday, have you been told anywhere by anybody who has the power to do so that the president was going to act on this request of yours because you sounded so definite that I didn't know you would be open to a roundtable discussion on this matter, which would necessitate you going on a suspension of the strike. If we don't open up for roundtable discussion, there was going to be no way that the issues were going to be resolved. And when we started, we had some assurances that the government side was ready to engage us to negotiate, except that we could not be engaged when we are striking. We also did not have any official letter informing us to that effect. So this morning, we received that official invitation from the Minister for Labor, asking that we should come to engage with government so that they can consider the president giving us approval. In fact, when we look at the composition of the meeting and it satisfies the constitutional requirements for the approval because we have somebody from the office of the president who has the mandate of the president to represent him at the meeting. And for us, that was very, very assuring. So, so what what was the next stage in this, this negotiation? Um, when is your next meeting? What are the key things you're taking to the table? Do you have untrained positions or you're willing to meet the government halfway? I don't know what you will call halfway, but we will meet the government with our management on Wednesday. That will be on 31st May, so that the proposal that was submitted by the council to the president will be brought. If the president has a say 
about what was submitted to them, they will let us know. If there is any justification that they will want us to provide, we are ready with all our documents to provide the justification that we deserve what we proposed and what was submitted by the staff, Mr. President. Your staff members, whom you asked to vacate the court premises on Thursday, what's your message to them now if they are listening? Okay, in fact, we thank them so much for the patience and the support that we have received from them across the country. This strike is one of the effective ones that we have uh, declared, and it has become possible because of the, staff, the support we received from our staff. Now that we have seen a headway towards getting us the money paid with the arrest in the month of June 2023, we are informing our members that the, the strike has been suspended but not called off. If after 12, we give the deadline after 12 June, if after 12 June the government is unable to complete with us and we realize it was due to undue delays, then we shall reactivate the strike. So the information we're giving to our members tonight is that they should report to work and let the work go on as normal as possible whilst we engage government to get a necessary approval for payment for members in the month of June. So litigants can now go back to the courts and you are really ready to open the doors for them, for service? We shall be open to all litigants and they'll receive and serve them tomorrow, God willing. What about people who lost money and uh, their rights trampled upon on Friday and Monday because you lot decided not to come to work and now you're calling or suspending? Should they not bring an action against you? Definitely not. There should be a action against the government. What we embark on is a legal strike. If it were an illegal strike, perhaps somebody would have been trying to take us on. But what we did, we passed, we made sure we satisfied all the legal provisions. The advice I have for those who had cases from last Thursday, Friday, and Monday is that they can still come on Tuesday and the court will give them the next agenda, the next available agenda for their cases to be heard. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you, Omar. That's uh, Abdullah Yakubu, his general secretary of the Judicial Service Staff Association of Ghana.